So we're very happy to uh, welcome you to the Department of Epidemiology, Biostatistics and Occupational Health 50th Anniversary uh, Conference. Uh, my name is Gilles Parezi. I'm the chair of the department. And uh, it's my pleasure to invite the Dean of the Faculty of Medicine, Dr. David Eidelman, to say a few welcoming remarks. Merci, Gilles. Uh, bonjour, tout le monde. Good morning. It's, uh, it's really <coughs> a great pleasure for me <coughs> to welcome you here today to this, uh, wonder on this wonderful occasion, the 50th anniversary of one of our leading departments. When, of course, when I come to these events, I, I'm always supposed to say that this is our best department. Um, um, it is among our best. And it's a great pleasure to, to do so together with one of our uh, uh, great leaders, uh, Gilles Paradis, the chair of this department. Um, it is also a privilege for me to, uh, to be here uh, at the same time as this morning's moderator, Dr. Uh, Jean Rochon, who is currently a consultant in the Public Health Institute of Quebec, but many of us know him as a former uh, Ministre de la Santé et des Services Sociaux. He was former Dean of the Université Laval uh, School of Medicine and is, uh, is certainly one of uh, uh, a legendary name here in Quebec but also all our panelists and speakers who've traveled uh, from elsewhere in Canada, the US and Europe, but also even as far away as Australia. I would like to also welcome a warm, uh, extend a warm welcome to our alumni um, who are reunite, reunited here at this conference, and I'm sure tonight's alumni dinner will be lots of fun. Uh, je tiens au nom de l'Université McGill et sa faculté de médecine à saluer uh, le département d'épidémiologie, de biostatistique et uh, de santé au travail pour ces cinq décennies de réalisation formidable. Today, the department is home to a community of uh, scientists engaged in inquiry that, that covers an enormous uh, breadth. Uh, from what I know of the history of the department, it started off in fairly classical epidemiology, and today goes from uh, uh, molecular and infectious disease epidemiology to, uh, to public health and uh, clinically applicable aspects of uh, biostatistics, epidemiology, and occupational health. Uh, this fall, you know, the department continues to go from strength to strength, and this fall, with a generous gift from Beringer Ingelheim, Canada, we were able to celebrate the creation of a new chair in the department, which brings together the uh, two worlds in the form of pharmacoepidemiology. Uh, a field of growing importance and underscores the scope and breadth of this department's excellence. Um, uh, je tiens notamment à féliciter le Dr. Paradis et son équipe d'avoir orchestré cette formidable conférence, qui est une occasion parfaite pour inciter uh, les gens à parler de la santé publique et de l'épidémiologie. Pour le programme, ils ont judicieusement uh, choisi des sujets qui ont été importants ces 50 dernières années et qui fascineront uh, les 50 prochaines. Much has changed in the 50 years uh, since the department was, was founded. It was first called the Department of Epidemiology and Health and was founded, as many of you know, by, uh, with J.C. McDonald as its inaugural chair. Um, and now, uh, some of you will know, we are at a kind of a crossroads in the Faculty of Medicine trying to see what the future is. Is this future as a department? Are we looking at something bigger than the department, and how do we uh, bring together the excellence in, the, in this uh, department with uh, other uh, related uh, aspects of the faculty. Uh, certainly, we have identified public health and its related subjects as a, a high priority for McGill. Uh, we recently completed a strategic research plan, and uh, uh, public and population health is a top priority, and we started to invest in it uh, in an important way even over and above what we've done historically. This in a context for those who are from out of town in which uh, our uh, health minister, uh, Dr. Barrette, uh, who had a slightly different style than Dr. Rochon, um, has, uh, has decided to cause a revolution in our healthcare system, uh, recently merging uh, many different uh, healthcare institutions, some in a logical and coherent way, some in less so. And uh, I think this, uh, this kind of uh, context uh, underscores the importance of uh, the kind of work that's done in this department and in a lot of departments to be able to inform the choices that our politicians make and our society makes, uh, as well as uh, to move healthcare forward. Um, 
Uh, and of course, here in Quebec, those who are, who are from other places in Quebec, we, we have particular challenges uh, that are relevant to this, uh, to this department and that relate to the demographic shifts that are coming in our population. Uh, unlike some parts of North America and elsewhere, uh, we've, uh, we haven't had as much immigration and we increasingly have an aging population uh, with demographics that resemble Japan more than they do uh, California. And uh, this, this creates challenges for us that we will have to deal with over the next 20 to 25 years that are, uh, for which we will count on the science in this department uh, to be absolutely crucial in helping us to make the choices that we will have to make. Um, in addition to that, this department excels in biostatistics and is internationally known for its excellence in that field. And um, as somebody who, who uh, who, who, th who thinks number, numbers and data are keen, are, are, are uh, cool, and is keen on this area, um, I think uh, we're, we really will be turning to the biostatisticians here and to the next generations of biostatisticians that are trained here uh, to help us in the era of uh, what is now a, a cliche of big data. Um, uh, I, one of my hopes is that we're gonna be able to bring together the expertise in this department uh, <coughs> with the excellence in uh, big data that exists uh, both in, in our genomic center and our neuroinformatics center, which are both, uh, both uh, strengths of this university. Um, uh, and uh, as you can hear, as a dean, I'm, I'm aiming, I'm trying to send the message that I want my, my uh, different departments to work together in an effective way. And I have to say that this department has distinguished itself uh, through its interdisciplinarity and its bridges that it's built with other departments. I was a former chair of the Department of Medicine and had the privilege of collaborating very closely with this department uh, on uh, numerous programs. So I'm a big fan of the Department of Epidemiology, Biostatistics, and Occupational Health. I'm delighted to see that it's uh, having a great anniversary. And I'm very excited about today's uh, events. Unfortunately, as dean, I will have to run away and do something else for a while. But I plan to play hooky in the afternoon from one of my meetings and show up here and hear more. And so I wish you a great day. Um, uh, and I think the next session in which we will hear from, you know, th that group of people who possess all knowledge, a bunch of deans, uh, will be particularly informative. And with that, I'll turn it over to Dr. Paradis. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, David, uh, for these, uh, these words. Um, uh, let me, uh, on behalf of the uh, uh, department, uh, welcome uh, everyone again. Uh, tell you how happy we are that uh, uh, you are all able to come and attend, participate in this 50th anniversary conference. Uh, 50th uh, anniversary, 50 years is middle age. Uh, we're not, I don't think, going through a middle age crisis. Uh, but uh, given the, uh, the rich history of the department, we have been over the past uh, year, year and a half, uh, thinking collectively within the department about the future, where uh, we are going and where uh, we think the field should be going and where we should position ourselves in relation to the field. And this conference will help us both uh, look at uh, major areas of uh, development, uh, both methodological and substantive uh, in epidemiology, biostatistics, and occupational health, and the general area of public health as well. Uh, and it'll help us also reflect on our past, think about our future, uh, and uh, the uh, and help us move forward our thinking about the um, the place of the department, both in Canada and worldwide, in uh, terms of epidemiology, biostatistics, occupational health, environmental health, public health, clinical epidemiology, and all these other areas of applications of the methods that uh, uh, that we are a representative, a strong representative uh, of excellence uh, worldwide. The department, as Dr. Eidelman was saying, uh, was created in 1964. Uh, by Dr. Uh, Corbett McDonald. Uh, there had been a professor, professors of public health at McGill before that, uh, at least dating back to the late 19th uh, century, uh, who were mostly, uh, I'm told, wasn't around at that time, I'm afraid, and, uh, uh, involved in teaching medical students, uh, 
But the uh, graduate programs of the department uh, really started to take hold in the late 1960s. Uh, and the early developments of the department focused on uh, uh, epidemiology and biostatistics and occupational health. Uh, strong recruitments in those years in the area of clinical epidemiology, the area of biostatistics under Dr. O'Season and then Dr. Walter Spitzer, who uh, developed uh, areas of expertise in uh, cancer epidemiology as well, recruitments, important recruitments in those areas as well. Um, and uh, I'm skipping very rapidly over to the last uh, decade where, under the leadership of Dr. Fuhrer, uh, much of the recruitment that occurred in the department focused uh, again in epi and, and biostatistics, but uh, quite interestingly, uh, most of the recruits, if not the vast majority of the recruitments uh, over the past decade came from uh, individuals who had been trained in schools of public health, either in epi, biostat, and so on. Uh, and this has changed the flavor of the department over the past decade, uh, and this has led to a increased breadth, if you wish, of interest. Uh, the areas of strengths of the department have gone from, uh, as I said, cancer epidemiology, chronic disease epidemiology, pharmacoepidemiology, the broad area of clinical epidemiology, uh, Bayesian statistics, longitudinal data analysis to now include as well uh, social determinants of health, population and public health, uh, and uh, environmental health. Uh, which are burgeoning areas in the, in the department. So we are fortunate uh, to have in the department uh, over 30, uh, 34, as a matter of fact, tenure, tenure track faculty members who have a primary appointment uh, in the uh, department. Um, we are also fortunate to have an additional 100 or so uh, associate members, uh, clinical faculty members who are associated with the department, either clinicians, public health physicians, uh, or uh, other specialists, uh, internal medicine, pediatrics, and, and many others uh, who have training in epidemiology or a PhD in epidemiology or biostatistics who have uh, also uh, an interest in clinical applications who are in other departments. And this produces an extremely strong, diverse, and, uh, and potent uh, pot uh, potential for collaborations and for uh, capacity and teaching uh, enhancement. Um, the department has a master's and PhD programs in epidemiology and biostatistics, has a master's in occupational health, it has a new master's of public health. Uh, we are in the process of uh, thinking through the uh, renewal of our old PhD in occupational health into a PhD in occupational and environmental health uh, for the near future. So there are many developments that are coming uh, our way in the uh, department for the, pa for the next uh, several years. Over the past year, um, the, uh, the department has undertaken a reflection on its future, uh, particularly about uh, the appropriateness, uh, feasibility, and opportunity of uh, investing more in the area of public and population health, particularly uh, the, the dean mandated us uh, about uh, 10 months ago to uh, look at the opportunity of creating an institute or a school of public health at McGill. We have had uh, a task force which has met several times over the past year uh, on this uh, topic. Uh, the task force included not only members of our department, but members of many other departments, both within the Faculty of Medicine and outside of the Faculty of Medicine. Uh, and the, the draft report will be circulated widely for comments and uh, uh, opinion, and uh, we hope to have uh, something on your desk, Dr. Eidelman, by this early summer so that we can engage more uh, uh, directly in, in discussions about the future of the, of the department and of uh, public health at, uh, at McGill. Um, so uh, again, welcome to everyone. We're very happy to see uh, good attendance at uh, today's uh, uh, conference. Uh, we have a great program. We uh, want to thank all of our guests, uh, speakers who've come from afar or who've come from Montreal. Uh, to, to participate in our uh, conference. We really appreciate your time 
and uh, your, uh, your thoughts.